Hello, Charles here from Charles N Photography. This video is actually part two of how to edit some lightning images in Adobe Lightroom CC Classic. The first video we, dis we did, we started from scratch and we went through with in Lightroom and we edited the whole photo until it was right for exporting. Now this is great if you've just got single photos, but quite often you've actually got multiple images of lightning and to get a more like wow photo you can actually blend these photos together I use a little program called star stack it's a free program it's shareware I'll put it down in the description below you can download it and while watching the video you'll actually see how to use this program and when we save the file the finished composite image in star stack please pay attention that you have to put the extension of the photo now we're going to export our photos as TIFF files from Lightroom, which StarStack does accept, has 8-bit TIFFs. When we save them, we have to put the extension of .tif. If we don't do that, the program will default to a JPEG photo. Even though they're TIFF photos, you have to put the extension .tif. So if you don't, you'll end up with just JPEGs. So we'll get started and I'll show you how to blend four photos together in Lightroom CC. Now like the last time, we're doing screen recording, so you'll actually see what I'm doing on the screen. Okay, so we've got our first image here that we'd already worked on. Now what we do, we come up down to the photo down here at the bottom, and we click on Develop Settings, Copy Settings and we click down on here everything that we've touched so we've got treatment profile white balance basic tone everything gets ticked here we didn't use the tone curve but we added texture clarity dehaze sharpening we tick on color we didn't use any brush or graduated filters or radial filters so we'll leave them alone noise reduction i didn't use but i'll just leave it ticked in Lens correction, definitely, all these are ticked. We didn't transform the image, so we can leave that alone. Process version is ticked, calibration is ticked. We didn't do any spot removal, so that's unticked. And I think we did slightly crop the image, so we'll click on crop here. We go copy. Now this is a Windows PC, so I select the three images and using the the control key the shift key sorry then i come back up here go develop settings and i click paste so this now means that all my images are exposed exactly the same as they would be so I'll actually start this and show you this again. So we'll go back as an import. So I click the three images, come up here to develop, and I click paste. And you can see a very sharp change in the images. And if we look here in the settings between the first, between the second and the first, it's all exactly the same. So now we select our four images and this is a Windows PC again so on a Mac it'll be slightly different but I hit the shortcut keys control shift E for export and now I choose where these files are going and they're actually going to go on my desktop in a temp folder called lightning temp files select now I want the images to be in a TIFF format, no compression, the color space is sRGB and the bit depth is 8. I'm not resizing the image. The resolution I want is a 240 and I definitely don't want a watermark. So now I click export. Now Dory exported these once before so I'll actually just overwrite the files. So I click overwrite and we go up the top here it says exporting four files. Okay, so the files are 
finished exporting now we'll open up star stack and we'll bring our images in so there they are one two three four we bring them in there they go so now we come up here to the blend mode and in blend mode there's only two so if I'm holding it down here you can actually see we have light and gap fill dark and we have a huge amount of blending options but for this sort of work there's only two blend modes that you could use is lighten or gap fill if you're doing star trails then you're stuck with gap fill because gap fill means that as you take photos of stars the stars are moving across the sky and every time the camera takes a photo there's always that slight little gap in gap fill it'll actually join that gap so you'll end up with a very nice image we'll actually save these files twice one in lighten mode and one in gap fill and when we go back in the lightroom we'll see if there's a big difference so we'll choose lighten the first one we'll come up here and we'll go save Whip. process that's it done already this program is very quick now you can actually see because it's blended the saturation is is a bit more than what I'd be happy with but when we take these back into Lightroom, because they're TIFF files, we can actually reduce the saturation in certain areas. Now, if you feel that the photo right here and now is oversaturated, just stop here. Go back into Lightroom, reduce your saturation, and then resave the photos and start again in StarStack. So now we'll save the photos. And we'll actually save them to the folder where these photos are stored, which is in Lightning, YouTube, and we'll just call it Set1 Lighten. S E T 01 Lighten. And we have to make sure we put the extension dot T I F. T I F. T I F there save okay now we'll choose gap fill and we'll reprocess the image again now you can actually see in gap fill here we've got a big band of purple there and that'll be very evident in Lightroom so we go save has it doesn't remember where you were so you've got to go back lightning youtube and instead of lighten we'll actually call it gap fill extension dot tif gap fill dot tif save that's it photo saved now we can go back into Lightroom, go into the library module to import, we click import, YouTube, and we don't want all the photos, we just want the two that we've just done, import them in, now where's our lightning, there. Now we can go into the develop module. So to give you an idea, this one here, so this is gap fill and this one is lighten. So I'll drop the panel here just to make them bigger. You can actually see that there is actually quite a big difference. The lighten mode actually looks much more realistic if we look at the gap fill there's like a big purple band here which really sticks out i tried to make my photos as realistic as possible so even though this photo has been worked quite a bit the gap fill version to me is just overdone so 
we'll leave the gap fill alone and we'll actually work on the light mode so we'll go back to the normal photo we'll click on lighten so now we've got our lighten image up here and if we feel like if you feel that see down here where I'm circling here is a bit too saturated all we do is we come up here to HSL we click on the saturation grab the little toggle up here and where there's too much saturation we left click the mouse down and we just slide it down just slightly if we go overboard you'll actually see it goes like a greeny color we'll just take the edge off it just that little bit now that looks uh, quite nicer now so we click done now if you can actually see here on the water this is actually a marker boy so if you want to be pedantic you can actually click we'll click on it and I can come up here to spot removal tool I'll take visualize spots out and I'll circle it say done now when I I did this you can either say clone or heal heal is much better because it'll just blend into the image there you go now we'll actually crop this image a little bit now because to me there's a lot of dead space around here and also there's a lot of sky that doesn't need to be there so we'll bring it down that looks much better we'll line up the horizon a little bit more that looks much nicer like that now if you really want to be pedantic you could actually add a graduated filter up the top here where the image is a bit dark so just to show you how this would look like we grab the graduated filter it's a little cross but as soon as you hold the left mouse button down press it you'll see now the bigger the lines the more graduation is so the easier it is to blend in if I hold the mouse button over the the black dot there it actually shows me where I'm actually going to be working which is where the red part of it is so we'll bring it around horizontal we'll take it just over the lightning and we just use the highlights and we'll just increase the highlights a little bit now we'll just touch the exposure just that fraction we'll actually make the graduation a bit more just give it a little bit more there that's not much 0.26 so it's not that dark up there so as you can see in the photo here this looks a much more impressive image than this one here so if we go between the two so this is our final image here and this is a single exposure so if you look on the left the first image looked really good make no doubt about that we've got a massive crawler a lightning strike here a few right down the back here but then the second here we've blended four images together and it is a much more impressive image so now all we have to do is export it where we want to to save the image to so i hope you've enjoyed the videos if you have enjoyed them give me a like add a comment subscribe to my youtube channel it'd be very helpful for me so until next time thanks for watching and stay tuned for more lightroom videos uh, i plan to do quite a few more of these just on specific photos or using specific tools in lightroom just to help you guys out so Goodbye for now.